I'm happy to announce that I'm going to be doing my very first Legion Q&A on my Twitch channel this Saturday, August 27th at 10.30 CST. I will be answering your questions live on Discord, so be sure to download Discord by clicking the link in the description and then join my channel, and I'll see you guys there. <laughs>In my opinion, rogues are one of those classes that have a really, really high skill cap, which means that there's a lot of potential for a good player to play a rogue and then get a lot out of it, get a lot of value out of this class. And I think that the assassination rogue in general is one of those classes that um, it's kind of like it's it's kind of like playing an affliction lock, but for melee is the best way that I can put it, because this class is really revolving around a couple things. Um, the main couple things are the bleeds and the poisons, okay? So this this class, you know, you're really not going to be doing the same thing as the outlaw spec does where you're like shooting people in the face and um, doing like a huge amount of burst damage with killing spree and like building up those roll the bones. Uh, this class is very different when it comes to what it accomplishes and how you build up damage. And I think that... Um, I think that I would like to go into the damage portion of it because of how different it is from the other specs and kind of explain how the debuffs work and really like how the, the poison and the bleeds work as well, right? So um, the main thing that I, I want to show you first is going to be the talents. Uh, this is the talents that I'm working with right now. Um, I am playing Master Poisoner, which gives me 30% extra damage um, and then also increases the non-damaging effects by 20%, which I feel like is very important since poisons are a lot of your damage. Um, then I'm playing Subterfuge, which is really important. I'll explain why in just a little bit. But um, yeah, Subterfuge allows you to use stealth abilities uh, after you have broken your stealth for three seconds, which is really important. Vigor, which I think is like the staple pick because it just is really valuable. It gives you 50% more or 50 more energy, not 50%. And then increases your energy regeneration, which is a really big uh, failure of assassination is the energy regeneration. Uh, faint and elusiveness, which is really important. People pretty much always take this. Prey on the weak, which gives you 10% damage uh, on stun targets with like kidney shot and cheap shot. Uh, exsanguinate, which is a really really important for like using or like getting your damage to burst a target, right? So exsanguinate, what it means is that uh, it's going to cause your bleed effects to bleed out 100% faster. So if you have a Say you have this Garrote, which is 18 seconds. If you put Garrote on target, then Exsanguinate, it's going to be a 9-second debuff, which does the same amount of damage. And same goes for the other bleeds, and I'll explain all that in a little bit. Playing Mark for Death, which is a pretty solid, uh, you know, just well-rounded ability that generates 5 combo points on a 1-minute cooldown. And then here's my PvP talents, and I will explain these in a little bit, okay? Okay. So, now, okay. There's three bleeds, Okay. I've said okay a lot in the last couple of seconds, so sorry about that. That's probably triggering a few of you. But we're going to be showing these bleeds and kind of how they work. So the first one is going to be King's Bane, which is the artifact ability. And King's Bane is an ability that you'll probably put up first in your rotation or, you know, your opener, whatever it is. You're going to put up this ability first because whenever you would apply a lethal poison, aka your deadly poison, to a target, uh, your King's Bane is actually going to be empowered. It's going to increase damage every time you apply that lethal poison to a target. Uh, so the best way to do it is basically to put King's Bane up first and then start you know, using all of your abilities that hit the target and apply poisons to it, obviously because it's going to empower that debuff, which is really important. Okay, so... Next up is going to be Garrote, and Garrote is an ability that does not require stealth anymore, where in previous expansions it did. Uh, it dots the target for 18 seconds, does a pretty solid amount of damage, and is your second strongest dot. Um, and the the thing about Garrote is that it used to silence the target. It still does. Uh, it's just that you can use Garrote out of stealth as well to treat it more like a debuff, like a damage bleed dot. Um, but if you are in stealth or have subterfuge up, so if your stealth breaks... Then you can still use Garrote to silence. Um, you can silence the target for three seconds after stealth breaks, which is a really big deal, right? So that's pretty cool. And it also, it's just like subterfuge is like a really awesome talent that I think you guys should read up on if you're looking to play this class. So you're going to be using Garrote for more of a dot thing, and then you also have Rupture. Rupture is your biggest damage dot. Um, it's going to be a five point finisher that does a lot of damage over 24 seconds. Okay, so what you're going to do is for an opener anyways is you're going to be pretty much you're going to start in stealth obviously and then you're going to cheap shot king's bane garrote uh, mutilate to get five combo points use your rupture and then you can hit mark for death uh, kidney shot or mark for death in venom 
Okay, so that's like how you're going to start that off. Um, but in in like that, after you get those three dots up, you're going to exsanguinate in order to create burst damage. And then you're also going to be doing in, uh, Vendetta, which Vendetta has a little bit, uh, there's like a few things to it real quick that I want to touch on before we show you the opener. And Vendetta, what it does is it increases the damage from your abilities on one target and the attacks dealt to that target by 30% and also makes them visible uh, through stealth and whatnot. So this is a debuff that goes on the target, whereas a lot of these like steroids or offensive cooldowns in general will be a buff on you like Combustion or Icy Veins or Battle Cry or Chaos Blades or whatever it is, Adrenaline Rush, like all of those are on you, but Vendetta is on the kill target, the person you're trying to kill, okay? So that's really what it's going to do, and it's important to put up Vendetta before you put up your main bleeds like Garrote and Rupture, okay? However, with your artifact traits, you actually get extra damage um, in the form of form the sh or From the Shadows, which does 335,000 nature damage over 20 seconds, so it's like an extra dot uh, behind the scenes whenever you use Vendetta. And since Vendetta is a 1.5 minute cooldown, which is relatively short comparatively, um, it's pretty, it's worthwhile to use um, to use Vendetta pretty much right off the start. And also, uh, Vendetta refil refills all of your energy, which is really valuable as well. So, what we're gonna be doing, guys, is showing you what the opener looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna start in stealth, and then I'm gonna cheap shot. I'm gonna put up Vendetta immediately, put up Kingsbane uh, first, and then Garrote, and then Mutilate to get five combo points, Rupture, and then I'm going to Exsanguinate, Mark for Death, and Venom, okay? And that's probably gonna kill this person. So, here we go. Uh, this, this, this. And then we're gonna get Mutilate, five combo points. Okay, Exsanguinate, Mark for Death, and Venom. Um, kick this guy because he's trying to live, and then he's dead. Okay, so if you saw his health in the top left of your of the screen there, you're gonna see that I put up like anywhere between eight and ten dots on him, um, because of all the different poisons and all the different but or all the different bleeds, and I was able to do a ton of damage in that amount of time. Like, look how many times I actually hit this guy with all these different dots because of I was I was able to make them attack very fast and like generate that burst damage. So all of this, all of this, is from those few seconds. Okay or are from those few seconds isn't that pretty crazy like that's a lot of damage being dealt onto that target and i think that this class has a potential for burst damage but only when you have the cooldowns available like exsanguinate and then like vendetta okay so a couple weaknesses before we jump into the arena is the fact that the energy building for this class is very very poor um since in outlaw you have like adrenaline rush you have the roll the bones energy increasing things and um, you know, it, it's just really hard to get energy as assassination because you have no way to build it You don't have any passive buff that allows you to build your energy and uh, Mutilate also costs 55 energy, which is a really big deal because uh, It since it's so much energy and, and you have to build a lot of combo points to get those kidney shots off Which are only on a 20 second cooldown now, which is really really valuable And then you have to keep getting those venoms off and you have to keep you know getting these ruptures up and keeping those ruptures up. And then also you have to work in stuff like your off kidney shot energy, which is 25, your your Garot energy, which is 45. Like there's a lot of different things that require energy and this class doesn't really have a way of building energy very quickly. So I, I did just want to at least talk about that. Um, but the defensives are relatively the same. The mobilities are relatively the same as well. You have shadow step and then you have sprint. There's really nothing crazy in mobility. And then for defensives, you have cloak of shadows, you have evasion, vanish and faint. And then you have crimson and vile still which is something that's pretty useful um it does require energy though whereas in outlaw i believe i'm not fully i'm not fully certain but i think uh as outlaw crimson vile doesn't require energy so yeah okay those are what the defensives look like and real quick what the opener is uh what we're gonna do is chief shot vendetta kingsbane go rote mutilate rupture okay exsanguinate mark for death and venom kick him in the face because he's trying to live and then kill him off just like that so that's really how it works guys and what we're gonna do is jump into some arenas so we can see what this class is like in real live action so let's get into it
Right, guys thank you so much for watching today i hope you did enjoy this video and real quick before i go i wanted to touch on the pvp talents this is my pvp spec that i'm running i think that deadly brew is really really valuable because you can put up your wound poison effect without actually having to put on wound poison and you can use that deadly poison for extra damage and then for the last tier uh, what i'm playing is creeping venom right now but i think that system shock it might be better i'm not sure exactly which one's best uh, maybe you guys can leave a comment down below to correct me if you would like to um, but i do think that system shock has a huge potential if you are good at assassination rogue because of how much slow it offers and then also the pretty big amount of burst damage which this class does seem to lack uh, without cooldowns okay so thank you so much for watching everybody be sure to give a big thumbs up on this video if you have not already and then you could subscribe to my youtube channel again if you have not already um, so you can see my videos whenever they come out i've been releasing daily videos over these class overviews and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one cartoons out